Over the last couple of years, we've seen the release of the Mini Arcades. The Taito Egret 2 Mini was the only one you could play vertically, until now. Today's review is of the Sega Astro City Mini V. We got this one through Amazon Japan, and it was pretty expensive. Let's have a quick look around the box. This one has six sides, as well as information about the games included. This box is surely giving us the V. So nothing underneath, let's open her up. Time to pop her chair. We got some orange flaps inside. We're greeted to the instruction manual. Um, I prefer Beverly's pink flaps. The box at the top has two sets of cables, one HDMI and the other micro USB. And here's the unit. Nothing else in here. The cabin itself looks a bit like this. The display is not like the Egret, it's just flat, but larger than the Astro City Mini. On the back we have a HDMI, two USB sockets, audio, and micro USB. Outside that, this looks a lot like the original Astro City Mini. Underneath is also quite similar, states we need a 5 volt 2 amp power adapter. Here's the instruction manual, and the back. Let's take a look at the buttons. So the buttons and the stick are extremely light, whereas the tiny yellow buttons are very clicky. If we compare it to the original Astro City Mini, identical. Not exactly terrible, but they feel like a toy. As the original Mini was from 2020, Sega are getting lazy. Micro USB, come on. Let's check the boot time. Counting, 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 counting things you like. Have you heard that song by Adam Buxton? Instant classic. Agreed. Adam Buxton loads up in under 14 seconds. At first boot, we're greeted with language options. And then, the games list. All 22 games are here, ordered by date. Uh, you can load up a game by highlighting, then pushing the first button. There is a screenshot on the right, but it's of the game's title. And if you look under the game's title, there's a game title again! The thing's written three times. We can actually change the screenshot if we highlight a game and then press left or right. But that doesn't save his position, so we're left with a nonsensical games list. Pushing the E button starts demo. All it does is start the game and then exits if you push a button. Why would one need this? Surely you can just start a game and just don't touch anything. Okay, time for the elephant in the room. The background music. Similar to the Astro City Mini, there is no way of turning this off. You can change it by finding a game and pressing this button, but it's still very annoying. Let's take a look at the options screen. We have a language selection here, copyright menu, screen, brightness, and volume control. Effect. This is essentially the video filter menu. We'll look at these in detail later. The next few options are for HDMI output, so you can rotate the screen, change the wallpaper, And at the bottom we have Adjust Display and Factory Reset. So let's see how this thing plays. With the filter set to None, a bilinear filter is actually used. To be fair, it doesn't look too bad on this screen. It actually looks rather decent, but problems appear when you start playing. The system has a bad case of controller latency. Changing screen effect to Arcade 1 pretty much destroys the visuals of the screen. It just makes it really, really dark. Arcade 2 is a little better, but it still does nothing for our controller inputs. I was really hoping if we change it to Sharpen, things should visually improve. Which they did. But with this much latency, I'd say this is pretty much unplayable. Let's go through some of the games. If you want to know our opinions on each of these games, please check the video linked.
Putting this next to the old Astro City Mini, we can see there is more of a delay. If you want to compare apples to apples, here's Truxton on both the Astro City Mini V and the Taito Egret 2 Mini. Between these two models, it is pretty much night and day. The game controllers sold for these units can be quite expensive, especially this arcade stick. So we tried all of these controllers, and we only found one that worked. The 8-bit Doe M30, with a black dongle. There is still a delay for the input, but at least this thing works. You can plug this into your TV via HDMI, and have a much larger screen. We can even turn it around using the rotate options. May be difficult to see on camera, so let's try a video capture card. So the video output is 720p, and let's go through each of the video modes. We can see the slight blur, but the whole screen moves very smoothly. Arcade 1 looks terrible. Here's Arcade 2. And now Sharp. The screen looks a lot better now, but the screen does not move smoothly. Now let's rotate the screen. With more pixels in use, hopefully the screen modes will look far better. Arcade 1 still looks like trash. And Arcade 2 looks a little better. Either way, these are pretty poor scan lines. But at least the sharp mode can be used. Next thing to look at is the Game Center Style Kit. This was also released for the first Astro City Mini, and it's got a miniature stool, stand, and marquee holder. This also comes in a very similar box. Now let's see what's inside. The stand, a box, and stickers. The stand uses similar plastics to the Astro City Mini. Here's the stool. And we get the cabinet, pop it on here, and then push. Right in the toilet. This actually looks quite nice. To add the cherry on the top is the marquee. There's three tags on the back, so it clips in and doesn't fall down easily. So it's too bad they opted for stickers. I like to change things up every now and then, so card would have been perfect for this. So if this unit was sat on your shelf, kind of like a showpiece, it would look really nice. And the detail on the back is very similar to an arcade system. It even has little wheels. You can even use this stand as a piggy bank. You could like put money in, then play a game. Then when you're completely skint, check the bottom of the stand, turn this thing around, then get your money back. Like Scrooge McDuck in his money bin. This stand is interchangeable with the original Astro City Mini. Just clips in like before. Think it's about time for the pros and the cons. This unit looks fantastic, very similar to the real thing. The plastic is decent, as is the games list. Unfortunately, there's a lot of input delay. As the target audience is shooter fans, they're gonna get really annoyed with this. The user interface is outright offensive, as are the scan lines, controller support, and price. The Astro City Mini V is a slap in the face to any arcade fan. They took a good idea and then totally screwed it up. From a leading arcade manufacturer, how did this get through quality control? It will look good on the shelf, but to play, absolute garbage. Here's a quick thank you to all of those on our Patreon. You guys are amazing, and we cannot thank you enough. If you'd like to support our work, please consider joining. Or you could like this video, that does a solid. She likes if you bang it hard. This has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandory, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra!